Thing. We can speak now to the editor of the Gibraltar Chronicle, Dominique Searle from Gibraltar via Skype. Uh, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, have you seen this sort of thing before? We've seen it before and we've seen it over many decades. Um, unfortunately, um, Spain uh, tends to feel that uh, it needs to sort of show its might every now and then and remind Gibraltar that it's vulnerable to that frontier because obviously um, if you close that frontier, as Franco did for 16 years completely, but even slightly, um, you quickly cut off the ability of the, of the place to function. And obviously uh, a call from the government here to its Spanish counterparts has resulted in, in the border checks returning to a normal level. They've returned to a normal level today. I mean, uh, whether it's the result of the requests or whether it was simply that the shot was going to be short and, and snappy as it has been in the past, um, I think the main function there is that the, um, the, the Spanish government, the current Spanish government, is putting pressure on the UK government to start to, um, a series of talks about the sovereignty of Gibraltar, but on new terms. Um, the previous socialist government had involved Gibraltar as a third party, not on sovereignty talks, but generally in engaging on cooperation issues. Um, this Spanish government made it very clear that it wanted to go back to the situation uh, before the socialist government and to have a bilateral negotiation which simply takes into account that there are people living on Gibraltar. Mm. On an institutional level, I understand there really is no uh, communication, relationship, diplomacy between uh, the Spanish government and, and, and uh, officials in Gibraltar. Is that correct? And, and if, if that is the case, you know, wh where does one go from here, given that uh, on a public level, people get on very well? Well, the... the um the previous set of talks, which the, the new Gibraltar government is quite happy to sign up to, um, was the trilateral talks. And that gave uh, each side, UK, Spain, Gibraltar, um, an element of contribution to ways of going ahead on issues that didn't directly involve uh, the sovereignty issue. Uh, once you get rid of that, the problem is that, of course, Spain literally uh, wants to stick to the uh, a treaty signed in 1713, the Treaty of Utrecht, which is exactly 300 years old this month um, and wants to say that that is what uh, sets out the parameters. So for instance the whole battle about waters is because the Treaty of Utrecht only included the fortress and they're saying that the waters are not British waters. So how do you go ahead from that? I think that um, at the moment I don't see the likelihood of um, any real relationship between Gibraltar and the current Spanish government as uh, driven by its current foreign minister, Senor Garcia Margallo, because he has been, from day one, very aggressive. I mean, the first thing he said publicly uh, was to a British MEP, and he shouted uh, Gibraltar Spanish, which was the old Francoist call. So I think that was already the wrong foot to, to have talks on, on an issue that's very sensitive, as you can imagine, because memories are long and people remember the 16 years of closed border. If this was a, a warning shot from Spain to show how difficult they can make life for people on Gibraltar, presumably it would need lots of warning shots on a, on a regular basis for this to become an even bigger problem than it was at the weekend. I suspect that the reality is that um, the Spanish government in Madrid knows um, that it is a democracy and it has to deal with the fact that Gibraltar is in Europe and that uh, Britain is part of Europe, the NATO allies, and that ultimately they've got no real expectation um, that Gibraltar will be handed over, uh, nor, as many Spanish foreign ministers have said, would it be a good deal if, the, if that were to happen. So I think what they're really trying to do is to stop um, Gibraltar developing. I mean, you know, the Gibraltar question for them is that they, they watch Scotland very closely because of the, the changes taking place there, the possibility of change there. And that is what they do not want to see Gibraltar have. They're quite happy to regard Gibraltar as a colony and uh, to have the people, if you like, um, living in a status quo with them arguing we should be Spanish and us arguing that we're British. But I think um, the, you know, the, the main objective here is not to find solutions, but really to manage the status okay. quo. Okay, uh, Dominique, thank you very much indeed uh, for taking the time to talk to us this evening. Dominique Searle, uh, editor of the Gibraltar Chronicle.